this is Christy Falk with Create with Christy. I'm here with another card today, and today I'm featuring a stamp set called Wonderful Romance, and it's got a, a die set that bundles with it, and I'm also using this beautiful foil. It's from the Lovely Lipstick Grapefruit Grove Foil Sheets in the Celebration Brochure, and you can get this these sheets free with a $50 order in the U.S., and that's before shipping and tax. And I used the Grapefruit Grove one for this one. And I just love the iridescent look on this. You can see how it's got, it almost looks like a rainbow when you move it in the light. I think you can see that. But isn't that gorgeous? I love that. But I'll show you how to make this frame out of some new dies. But to start off, I'm going to go ahead and show you the stamp set. Like I said, it's called Wonderful Romance, and it's in the Occasions catalog. And it's a gorgeous stamp set. I just love the flowers and the leaves. And it does have a die set that uh, coordinates with it. And when you get it, this will be the one I'm using to die cut this flower image out. But when you, if you get these dies, make sure you turn them over because there are even more dies on the back. And I've seen cards made with this one. I haven't got to use this one yet, but I, I love it. As you can see, this die would die cut this one right here. And this one would die cut this. So these images can all be die cut. And I do believe this one is the one that die cuts a little flower. So that's pretty neat that we've got all those dies and then a great frame for some of the greetings. So it's a really good set, but if you bundle these together, you'll save 10%, so it's a really good deal. And I'm also using the rectangle stitched framelits. We've been wanting rectangle framelits for a very long time, and these aren't just uh, rectangles, they're also stitched. And I love this. We've had dies like this before, but it's got stitching on the inside and the outside. So when you die cut it, the actual rectangle that you're die cutting will have stitching around the outside. Then the opening that's left behind will also have stitching around the opening. So I, that's really cool. So what I'm, I'm going to show you how to make this frame, because you can kind of tell that here. This would have been on the outside, and this is the, what would be on the inside. So it's pretty cool. So let me hurry up and show you. I'm going to use the number four and number six dies. How I count these, I start with the smallest. I'm when I say number four to number six, that's this section right here. That's the other thing I like about this. We've got long, narrow ones, ones that are a little wider, and then one that's just really nice for a little greeting. But I'm going to start, I always start counting with the smallest. So this is number one, two, three, four. So here's number four, and then five and six. So these are the ones that I'll be using today. I'm going to go ahead and get my big shot out. Make sure I get that in the screen. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to take my Grapefruit Grove. This is a, th uh, let's see what size this is. This is a three and a quarter by four and a half. I'm going to lay it down on my magnetic platform, a standard cutting pad. And you could also use the uh, Big Shot platform that comes with it and make sure you use a thin die adapter. I'm just using the metal one, the magnetic one now because I'm going to need that in the next one that I'll be die cutting. And then you just center this right inside. So I always lay the big one down first. Hopefully I'm getting this centered. I'm at an angle. Okay, there we go. And then, voila, we're just going to put it right through the big shot and put the standard cutting pad on top, as you saw. And I'm going to go ahead and run it through a couple times. So when you hear that last crunch, then you know that you've got it. You've gone through the whole thing. Now we'll lift this up. Now, I can keep this die cut for, uh, for something else, but see how it did on the inside? Then, the same die, so this die was the one that made, made the border around this one. It also made the inside border here. And then this one, this one was the inside one for the outside. So that's how I got my frame, and that's what I love about these dies, that you can have stitching on the inside and the outside. That's really cool. It's a neat, neat fit feature. I'm going to hold on to this for something else on another card someday. Go ahead and get this out of the way. We'll be bringing it back here in a little bit. Now I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White. It's three and three quarter by three and three quarter. I'm going to take this large floral image from the Wonderful Romance set. And this is a Tuxedo Black Memento Pad. I'm going to ink it up really well. Make sure I get all covered. Looks like i got some on my hand. I seem to do that a lot anymore. It's an occupational hazard. Okay, now this doesn't have to be on any certain way. You just want to make sure you get it to fit in there because we're going to die cut it when we're done. So I'm going to make sure I've got it all pushed down. That looks pretty good. So there's my image. And now I'm going to color it in. I'm going to use Stampin' Blends on this. The um, 
most of the leaves I'm using my mint macaron combo so this is the light and the dark and I always start off with the dark I know some people do it the other way around but I like to be able to go back and blend it and I don't want it to be just straight lines so I want the center parts of the leaves around this line here to be darker so I kind of make it a jagged look because that makes it a little more believable for a leaf because it wouldn't just wouldn't be a straight line and I'll do that on all of these and I'll also do it on the small ones. Okay, I think I got all the inner ones. If not, I'll come back and fix it. But now I'm going to take the light one, and I'm going to color over the whole leaf, but I'm also coloring on top of the dark area, so that makes it blend. That way it's not a stark difference between the colors. It'll make it more gradual. Okay, now I'm going to go over the little stems that I want colored in. Just do it very, very lightly. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my petal pink combo. So it's the light and the dark of the petal pink. And that's what color these flowers are going to be. And I like having the centers of these. And so this is a little smaller. I'm going to go ahead and use the blunt end. And I'm going to make the centers a little darker in the outside and once again I'm going to do them jagged as you can see I'm going up and down instead of going straight across the way flowers really are okay now the flowers are done with the dark and I'm going to bring in the light and once again I'm going to go over the dark areas also so it can blend in a little more Now sometimes when you do these, I want a little more color to this one. Sometimes these really light ones are uh, hard to see sometimes. So after they've had a chance to dry a little bit, and it dries pretty quick, I'm going to go over a little more with the dark again here, just to bring a little more color out on it. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think I will add a little more of the light too, just a tad. There are some places it looks a little lighter than I want it to. Well, that looks pretty good. I love the two-tone effect. Oh, and I do see that I miss a couple places with the light on these leaves here, so let's hurry up and do those real quick. There we go. Okay, now I wanted these little leaves to be a little different from these bigger ones, so I'm using just my light Mossy Meadow, and this is a new uh, Stampin' Blend in the Occasions catalog, and it also has a dark version too. That with these leaves being so small, I knew you wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to see it too much, so I'm just using the light one. So I thought the dark one's a little too dark to go with the colors I was using. But I like how the light one turns out. Okay, here we go. We've got one more thing to color. This one won't have to speed the film up because it's only going to take a minute. But the one thing I love about these blends, I don't know, when you use markers, sometimes you see the streaks of the way you use the marker. With these, there are no lines at all, so you don't see any of that. That's another reason I love these so much. You can get the two-tone effect, and you don't get the lines because it really looks like you've painted it on. See, so I just did the three centers of those with the dark daffodil delight. Okay, all done with the coloring. Now I'm going to bring in my big shot again. I'm going to use the same sandwich. It's going to be this. with. It's got the magnetic platform standard cutting pad, the design, and now I'm using the magnetic one because I want it, this to stay in place. I'll get all of these lined up here. You can see there are little leaves here. You want to get them lined up. I think I'm going to stand up here and get these better. There we go. Takes a little moving around, but there, I think I got it. But you just want to make sure you see the leaves within those holes right there, and that helps a lot. And the stems down here. Oops! Stems down here. I shouldn't have moved it. Or touched it, I mean. There we go. That looks good. Now we put the standard cutting pad on top. Run it through. 
I'll go ahead and do it one more time. Probably don't need the second time, but just to be on the safe side. Okay, get this out of the way. And the one thing I love about this die, it cuts out so many different things. So this, I see there are little holes here. I can just pop those out. It just makes it look even more intricate. I love that. So you, it's nice. It's okay to have some white in the little areas, but it's nice to have all these little openings. It makes it look even nicer. And I think that's everything. Took out most of it without me having to poke it out. And this was to, using that new tool that we have. Take your pick. Love this. I don't know if I've shown I've shown you this before, but in case you haven't seen it, it comes with another tip too. That's got two sc uh, scoring tools. But with this one, you unlock it, and that's got a little spatula type thing too. That today I was using the little pointer, little paper piercer, and it's also got a, this is the part, the take your pick tool. This has a little sticky thing on the uh, on here to where I can, if I want to pick up something small, I can pick this up and it's sticky and picks it up for me, which is pretty cool. Okay, and it's only $10 and it's in the occasions catalog. And I had a friend that gave me a gift. She had one engraved for me, so that's why it's got my name on it, which was kind of neat. Okay, so we've got this all die cut. I'm going to bring in a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock. It's eight and a half by five and a half, and I've already scored it at four and a quarter inches, so it's, I can fold it in half. I found with the thick cardstock, you want to score it ahead of time because it's so hard to fold. It just gives a lot better fold if you do that first. So that's ready to go. Now I'm going to take my frame and lay it down where I know it's going to go. Find it's a little easier. I'm going to take the Thinking of You stamp, ink it up, and as soon as I got this right where I want it, then I'm going to take this and just stamp it here near the top. Hold it down a few seconds. There we go. The reason I did this ahead of time is because I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals, and when it's popped up, it's a little harder to stamp inside it, so it's a little easier to do it before you attach it. So now I'm going to take my mini dimensionals. Put some on the corners. I'm using the mini ones. The regular ones would fit, but you can see them just a little bit. So I thought I'd go ahead and use the uh, mini ones. I'm so glad we've got two sizes now. And even though this isn't too wide, I think I'm still going to go ahead and put some here on these center ones. There we go. That should be good. Take off all the paper backing. Okay, now I'm just going to lay it on here again, make sure it's centered, and the thinking views where I want it. That looks pretty good. Put that down. And now with this, it's going to just straddle this. Now I don't want to put a dimensional where it goes over the frame, so I'm going to mainly put it here in the center parts, and that'll hold it on really well. And you can use the regular size or the medium. This since I've already got, or the regular, I mean, I've already got the minis out. So we're going to go ahead and use the minis. Yep, I need one for that flower, and then I think we're good. Doesn't take too many. It'll hold it on just fine. But you want to make sure you can stay near the inside because you don't want to have, because if the dimensional goes on here, it's going to raise it up and kind of fold it up funny on you. Okay, get that little backing off of there. Okay, now I'm going to put this on my card. Kind of angle it a little bit, and there we go. Now, I could have just kept it just like that. I think that looks pretty, but I wanted to have a little bit of a bling to it. And we've got these uh, Gingham Gal Adhesive Back Sequins. They're in, also in the Cajuns catalog. This is the Grapefruit Grove, which is what I'm using, but it's also Highland Heather, Daffodil Delight. Oh, looks like I got a little dimensional on that one. I'll take that off later. Um, Lemon Lime Twist. And these look more iridescent. Uh, it says in the catalog, balmy blue, so I guess there is a little balmy blue in them too. But those are the sequins, and they, as you can see, they're flower-shaped. Well, here, this one you can see better. Flower-shaped, and then just regular sequins. Well, I'm using just a regular sequins today, so I'm going to bring get my Take Your Pick tool again. Pick one up. I'm going to put one right here. And right here. So this is the Grapefruit Grove, and it's the one that matches with the frame. Put one right here. And I use the Petal Pink on here because I want it to be a little softer color than the Grapefruit Grove, but these two complement each other really well. 
and that's it. That's the end of the card. I just love the frame, like I said, the rectangular thin, uh, framelits you are definitely going to want to get. They are so much fun. But I thought you'd like enjoy today's card. I hope you did. And if you'd like to know whenever I post other videos from cards I've made or other projects, I don't do just cards. But if you are interested, you can subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified every time I post a video. You can also follow me on my blog, www.createwithchristy.com. And you can also order Stampin' Up! product there. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And if you're in the U.S., you can order from me. And if you go on to, to my blog, then you can click the Shop Now button there and place an order. I if you do place an order, I'm going to let you know about my Doily Rewards program. For every $50 you put on an order, you can't combine orders, but every $50 on a single order, you will earn a doily, and that's also before shipping and tax. So the $50 has to be before shipping and tax. And use the current host code for that month. You'll earn a doily, and once you earn 10 doilies, I'll give you a $50 shopping spree on me, and I'll even pay the shipping and tax for you. So I'd just like to reward my customers. I really appreciate your business, and I want to have a way to reward you. Well, I think that's it for today. Uh, don't forget about celebration. Like I said, if you uh, for every $50 you spend, you get a level one celebration, and every $100 you spend, you can either get two level ones or one level two. And there's some two great level two products you'll want to look at. There, you won't want to miss those. But also, those $50 and $100 are before shipping and tax. If you have any questions, just comment below, and I'd love to see your comments below. If you have any questions on the product project I just made, I'd love to hear from you. Talk to you soon. Bye.